I love this next one. Governor Vessel 14 or the Great Vertebrae. Very interesting place here. Perhaps you just be kind enough to turn around. Situated about here. Now, what's really interesting with this is, if I strike in and upwards, I get a, a lot of confusion in the brain because it's sending chi up into the brain, almost causing like a, uh, an overload. If I strike in and downwards, the chi starts to drain. Now, obviously, if someone has got very little energy, he's going to be far less effective uh, in defending himself. What did that, could you just explain, John, what that felt like? The downwards motion, I felt that go all the way down my spine, very uncomfortable. And the upwards motion, I felt that more on my solar plexus mm -hmm. than anything else, like it travelled through. Mm -hmm. Driving the energy up, so, what could we do? Again, coming from this position here, that strikes come in here. Now, notice this time I can't quite reach there without stepping. However, this point is very, very, very available to me, okay? And again, we would tend to use this uh, tactile position here, covering here, and then using the ubiquitous hammer fist straight into the spine, dropping him. Very, very interesting. I've been watching um, a lot of uh, MMA fights recently. And what I'm seeing more and more, that people are using the hammer fist, especially in the ground and pound, far, far more effectively. It is a very, very underutilized strike, I think, in so many different areas. The beauty is, by using this fist, we bring out a whole smorgasbord of other interesting little bits, which I'm just going to show you one of here. Each of your fingers, and again, we're going to we've covered this in the Meridian Attack System, each of your fingers has a denomination. And this goes to the five element theory that we find within um, the whole of the, the pressure point system. Most of the points ha would have a denomination, either fire, metal, water, wood, or earth. We tend to find that the fire line is the one which really, really, really does the damage. Now, again, to take my word on this one. Um, what you're going to see is absolutely real. Okay? I'm going to hit John into the chest here. Now, I always will hit into the right-hand side of the chest for safety, okay? Using a hammer fist. So, very, very gently. Relatively effective. But for someone of John's size, John's strength, it's not going to be a technique which, to be honest, I would tend to use because he's just going to batter me, yeah? But using this line up here will have a very, very different effect. So again, using my breath, putting the fire in, and if those of you who've done karate, this sort of outside to inside block, so, so uki, really, really works as a strike, okay? So here... <sighs> As you can see, John doesn't have to explain. Huge, huge differential, yeah? Big difference with the layers on top. Yeah, huge difference. Now, obviously, that is not going to be a main target area for me. What I could do, though, it could be if I went into lung one here, which is basically going to collapse his diaphragm. Bah! It could be that I'm going to hit him across the jaw using that. It could be I could be hitting him into the side of the throat using that. Very, very useful technique, guys. But it's that twist combined with the breathing, which we spoke earlier, which is basically um, called the microcosmic orbit. Your chi flow is going to work there, and then that strike then becomes absolutely devastating.